The excitement is building here in Ndola as the Copper Belt media campaign for the 2024 Zambia Mining and Investment in Saka, Ozemiai, was officially launched last evening. Minister of Mines and Minerals Development, Paul Kabuswe, highlighted that the Insaka is poised to put Zambia on the world map by transforming the way mining is conducted in the country. Minister Kabuswe emphasized that the Insaka is a unique initiative that goes beyond traditional mining practices. It will serve as a platform for investment promotion, networking, business development, and crucially, for knowledge sharing and collaboration among industry stakeholders. Right now, from the time UPND formed government, I can count one, two, three, up to seven billion dollars, not investment pledged, uh -uh, which, is, which is already signed for. This year alone, $1.2 billion. Mopani, $1.1 billion. Uh, NFCA, Luan Shash of $28, $500 million. Chambeshi, uh, NFCA plant, another $500 million. Yes, I'm coming. I want Lumuana, because we talked about the Northwest. Lumuana, is investing in what they are calling the super shaft, 200, 200, $2 billion. First quantum, $1.2 billion. You can see, as he was saying, that the mine is, mines have begun to breathe again. Mingomba, the one he has talked about, $2 billion. These are not pledges. This is real investment coming to this country. Already you heard that KCM just paid all the councils. Meaning councils must begin to pay their suppliers. Councils must begin to pay their contractors. This is what is happening. That is economy. Kitwe was paid $87 million by the company. There were people who were saying the KCM arrangement is a hoax. It's a very good hoax to pay 50 million. To all the, the Ministry of Mines Permanent Secretary, Dr. Hapenga Kabeta, also spoke at the event, urging stakeholders to participate in what he described as a historic occasion for Zambia's mining sector. The inaugural 2024 ZMI will be held in Lusaka from the 7th to the 11th of October at the Mulangushi International Conference Center. To have an opportunity to host this Zambia Mining and Investment in Saka so that we can tell our story. When people talk about you, they will explain things from their respective perspectives. But for us, as Zambia, we thought that the best people who can talk about ourselves is basically ourselves. So this investment in Saka is not just an investment in Saka. It's not just a common conference. It's an opportunity for Zambian investors, global players, to come and create partnerships in Zambia. An opportunity for Zambian investors to interact with the global players to create partnerships. We believe that through this arrangement, we shall be creating an impact in the country. So this Zambian Mining and Investment in Saka, ladies and gentlemen, has been organized and will be organized by Zambians. For a long time, all the events that are taking place in Zambia and even in South Africa, the organizers of, the organizers of those events are basically coming from outside Africa. This particular one, we thought it's different and we must do it differently. So as a way of trying to ensure that we maintain the Zambianness of this event while maintaining the globalness of it, we felt that we needed to appoint a local event manager and that local event manager is the Butala uh, Investment Holdings. Butala or Butala, depending on how you pronounce it, is a Zambian company owned by Zambians and we told them, we, you are going to be the leaders, but they are free to interact with anyone, anywhere in the world. So this Copper Belt 
uh, uh, media launch is important because uh, if you are in Osaka and you say you have been to Osaka, people say you have not been to Osaka if you have not been to Matero. Those of you who have lived in Osaka know that you must have lived in Matero. You must know where Matero is if you have gone to Osaka. Similarly, if you come to Zambia and you don't come to the Copper Belt, you have not been to Zambia. It is important that this media engagement uh, meeting has taken place in Indola, which is in the past used to be called the distribution center of Zambia. With just a few months to go, preparations are well underway and the anticipation is high for what promises to be a landmark event in Zambia's mining history. I am Kotendi Moya, reporting.